Taking your new Galaxy S3 LCD, we can start by reinserting the internal parts. Start by taking the vibrate motor and inserting it into the bottom of the phone. Press down with your flathead screwdriver in order to ensure that this is firmly in place. Next we can take the volume and microphone cable and insert this into place. Now the volume flex has been inserted, we can go ahead and reattach the volume button. Simply press this into the side of the phone until it clicks and make sure that the buttons are fully working. Next we can go ahead and reinsert the camera. This goes in the top left hand corner of the phone. Gently press down and secure this into place with one small screw. Next we can go ahead and reattach the antenna cable. Start at the top of the phone and press the insert into place, like so. Now we can go along and insert the antenna cable into position, lift up the adhesive and stick down to ensure the antenna cable is firmly in position. Next we can start by reinserting the logic board. Start at the top of the phone, making sure no flex cables are caught underneath. It's important that we push the camera into place so that it fits perfectly. Gently press down on the logic board ensuring that no flex cables are snagged. We can then go ahead and secure the logic board with one small black screw at the bottom of the logic board. We can then go ahead and start to reattach the ribbon cables. Carefully we are going to reattach the antenna cable on the right hand side of the phone. This is very delicate so you use a plastic pry tool if needs be rather than the flathead screwdriver. We can then go ahead and reattach the plastic insert at the top of the phone. Gently press down until it clicks and reattach the ribbon cable. We can then go ahead 
and reinsert the plastic cover. This will also click into place and we're going to secure this with 10 screws. Once these 10 screws have been inserted, we can then go ahead and replace the battery. Start at the bottom and then push down. We can then go ahead and replace the back cover. Again this clicks into place, like so. We can then go ahead and power on the S3. There we have a successful Samsung Galaxy S3 LCD repair.